What's up guys? We are at the KOA at Lion Country Safari and it is so close to Lion Country Safari you can literally hear the lions right over there from Lion Country Safari. So we're going to take a full tour and show you guys all the amenities of this amazing KOA campground. Uh, we're going to show you guys the different sites. We're going to show you guys all the stuff they have as far as like pools and stores and everything that you guys kind of need to know before you guys get here. And we're going to be going over everything that you need to know in detail right now and we're getting started. So as you guys can see, this KOA is pretty massive, and I'm going to go over some of the things that you need to know before you get here. So as you come in the main entrance, you're going to come across the KOA main office. It's going to be straight ahead as you come through the security gate. This is where you're going to check in. This is also where the store is. So if you've forgotten something or you need drinks or ice or whatever, you're going to find it there. We'll actually get a little more in-depth on that in a minute. Right behind the store, you're going to find the pool. To the right of the store, so where T12 and T11 and all that stuff is, that's where you're going to find tent camping. So if you guys have a tent and you still want water and electric, those are all those sites. It's also going to be where the cabins are located, right here. I've circled it. Now, if you want a primitive camp that's no water, no electric, they have that right here. I am going to make one note here. Site T12 for tent campers, probably the best site at this KOA just letting you guys know up front. If you guys are looking for the best RV spot to hear the animals, it's gonna be sites right here. You've got 70 through 81, and then 186 through 203. So those sites that I circled, those are gonna be the best sites closest to the safari. So if you're looking to hear some animals roaring or doing all kinds of different uh, animal noises, you're gonna to wanna to be on that side of the park. So all these sites to the left here, these are gonna be RV sites. Now they are different. Some of them are 50 amp, some of them are 30 amp, but they have water, they do have some form of electric, uh, and they also have the dump there. So that is kind of awesome. All right guys, so right back here is where you're gonna find the dog park. They do have a pretty amazing dog park we're gonna get into. So definitely a huge list of things to do here while you're at this KOA. And then right here, this is where your laundry and showers are. Now one thing to note here is make sure that you get the code from the map when you check in so when you go to the office and you check in they're going to give you a map and at the bottom of that map it's going to have a code that code will get you into the showers and restrooms so let's take a look at some of this stuff in depth so they do have a full laundry facility they have uh, folding tables obviously washers dryers they take quarters So nothing too crazy here, but it is nice that they have a full service laundry just in case you need that. So even if you've forgotten your microwave and your toaster on your camping trip, they have you covered here with a microwave toaster and a coffee maker. They also have all kinds of extra parts that you may run into during your trip. So like water filters, uh, your shower heads that may break, clips for a tent little digging shovels, grill brushes, obviously propane, some people forget that. If you forgot your charcoal, they have that. They've got pans and stuff for roasting marshmallows. Um, just a, a good general store. Ziploc bags, stuff for laundry. They do have full on-site laundry here, which is nice. Uh, mosquito care, which you may need. So just pretty impressed with the store, honestly. So as you guys can see, they have a pretty stocked cooler. They've got eggs and bacon and cheese and lunch meat and dairy products, coffee meat, cans of soda, 12 packs of soda. They've got Gatorade, they give juices. Um, they also have a big ice container here. So you can buy 10 pound bags of ice. And the store prices were really, really, really reasonable. So they also have beer to go. So these are the prices for that. So if you're looking for beer, they've got you covered, guys. So one of our favorite amenities here, uh, and I know Ethan's favorite amenity, was the fact that they had a pretty nice sized pool. The pool is heated, they had plenty of seating around it, and we're actually gonna show you guys the pool right now, just so you can kind of see what you're uh, gonna be up against. So there is just the one pool here. It does get pretty crowded on the weekends, but there was plenty of seating for everybody, uh, especially during COVID. You can definitely stay socially distanced if um, that is an issue for you, but a huge pool super clean 
they're well well taken care of here a very very nice facility we were very happy here we would stay here again in a heartbeat and like i said you are so close to lion country safari you can literally hear the lions roar now unfortunately we did not hear any lions roar now we were on the furthest part away so as far away from lion country safari as you can be on this property did want to show you guys this gate out here this gate does close at 10 p.m so if you happen to get here later than 10 p.m uh, you will not be actually allowed to get in so just keep that in mind that you do need to be here by 10 p.m uh, or that gate will be closed also i want to show you guys the cabins over here so those are actually the cabins they do have quite a few of them so like i said that's going to be more like a motel hotel type stay out in the woods though so uh, very convenient they have a lot of amenities in there so um if you're into that definitely check that out so they did not forget about the animals here at koa if you bring your uh, favorite little furry friend uh, they've got this little dog park area here that he can run around in and uh, you can sit under the shade and just kind of hang out it's actually um it's actually a, a really good sized dog park to be honest with you um for a campground so a good sized dog park very nice they've obviously got water in there they've got seating areas so it's pretty cool that they did that um so obviously you can bring pets here it's no problem um and they do accommodate for that and they do have stuff for the pets to do here too so that is kind of awesome also so uh we're going to check out some other stuff obviously there's a lot to see at this campground um, and being that we're so close to Lion Country Safari, there's just so much wildlife, so many animals, and it's just such a, a nice place to be. So we're going to continue the tour, go check out some other stuff. So in case you guys get bored while you're out here camping, they have a shuffleboard here. They have a uh, obviously a pretty good sized playground area and swing set for the kids. They've got a basketball court. Looks like volleyball back there in the corner. And I think uh, over here they've got horseshoes uh, out. So while you're at the Lion Country Safari KOA, if you didn't bring your own tent, that's actually okay. They have their own tent set up here. They're a super nice canvas tent, uh, screen room. I'll show you guys. I seen somebody have an AC uh, unit in these. They look like they're about 10 by 10 ish. They've got a nice rain fly on them. We talked to some people that were actually staying in one and they said it stayed super, super dry even with all the rain. So that is an option also. You can also rent one of those. All right guys, so that was our review of the KOA here at Lion Country Safari. Uh, fantastic facility, super well kept. They are on top of maintenance here. Super clean, very, very nice facility. We highly, highly recommend this KOA. It was absolutely fantastic. Especially if you're coming here for Lion Country Safari, it is super close. Couple of notes that I wanted to let you guys in on and some money saving things. If you happen to be staying at this KOA and you're going to Lion Country Safari, buy your tickets here at this koa because you're going to save yourself ten dollars per ticket it's only 22 dollars if you buy them here to go to the lion country safari for the day um, so that's great so if you have a family of three like we do we save 30 bucks right there just by staying here which is fantastic uh, and being that it's literally super close i mean like next door you could literally walk uh, to lion country safari from here uh, i don't recommend it because it's a drive through safari so it'd be kind of dumb but you could walk there if, if you really wanted to. Um, the on-site facilities were fantastic. They had a great pool. They had a full laundry. They had electric and water sites. They had full RV sites. They had basketball. They had a kid's play area. Uh, the pool, like I said, was fantastic. The store is great. They have all kinds of stuff that you may need uh, and some stuff that you may not need that you still end up buying, like stuffed animals. Um, they do allow golf carts here. You can cruise around in your golf cart. ATVs are not permitted though. Like I said, I did want to remind you guys about the 10 o'clock curfew. You have to be here by 10 o'clock, otherwise they close that gate. So make sure that you are on top of that when you're coming here to stay. When you guys book your site online, you can request a certain site. Uh, if you guys are staying at the tent sites with water and electric like we did, uh, we recommend site T12. We did not get that site. We actually got T11, but site T12 uh, is actually backed up right next to the primitive site. It's um, a very, very large site. Uh, you could easily accommodate two tents. There was no like tree roots in there and no trees like growing up through the center of it. Uh, and it just had plenty of space on either side of it. So we definitely recommend that if you're staying here, check out site T12. Hopefully that will help you guys out. 
We hope you guys had a great time. I know we did. It was fantastic. Even with all the rain we got, we were still able to have a fantastic time here. And uh, hopefully we gave you guys a super honest review that you guys can use and have a very fun time here at the KOA at Lion Country Safari. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys have ever been here, let me know what your personal experience of the facility was. And uh, let me know what your guys' favorite KOA was because we're going to be staying at a bunch more KOAs and we want to know where you guys like because we want to go check some of those out too. So uh, let us know in the comments. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button for us. And we will see you on the next one.